take a look at futures right now for the U.S. majors. We have strengthened a little bit following a pretty much unchanged session, despite the volatility yesterday following the Fed's move to cut rates and at least leave open the door to more cuts should they be required. Let's talk this through. Joining us now, Binky Chatter, he's the global chief, uh, sorry, the chief global strategist, get the wording right, at Deutsche Bank. Binky, fantastic to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. What do you make of the Fed yesterday? Uh, I, I would argue they're essentially sitting, uh, you know, on the fence. If growth slows, they will cut some more. If growth, does, you know, it doesn't slow, they won't. Uh, our view is a little different. Our view is very clear. Growth is slowing. Growth is going to continue to slow. And so they will cut as growth slows and they will continue to cut for a little while longer after so, growth's bottom. So you're far more worried than Jay Powell, at least, was letting on yesterday. How close to a recession are we? Because I know you're one of those sure. who thinks we're far closer, perhaps, than people realize. Sure. You know, there's two or three very simple points to make. I mean, if you look at the manufacturing sector in the U.S. and you look at the ISMs, I mean, you know, we, we've been slowing from a peak back in September of last year. Uh, and it's a leap of faith to think that, uh, you know, something that's going down like this is suddenly going to stop here tomorrow. <laughs> And start maybe to even you know going up number one number two people say that you know they sort of mix signals and you look at the bounce in services but I mean if you do actually look at services and you look at the ISMs I mean they've essentially been coming down in a sawtoothed manner so the last two bumps did not sustain I would argue you know the US economy is slowing broadly it is slowing unambiguously and I would argue that the US economy is dangerously close to sort of tipping over what I would argue into a recession what I would argue is we are very very close to what has historically been a stall speed for the US if you look at the labor market for example payrolls growth you know is running the six-month change at an annual rates so running at about 1.3 percent that is number one the slowest pace that we've had in 10 years at any point in this recovery it's bound to it's slow gone straight though, when down. the labor market gets so tight and I guess back to your point about manufacturing would, yeah. it's still only what 15 to 20 percent of the u.s economy are you saying actually that you're worried about the consumer too despite things like retail sales because of what you're saying about I, the jobs market so so, so it, 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 it. Consumption growth is always going to be over, you know, some period of time tightly related basically to labor income growth and the biggest component of that is jobs growth. Right. Now, just one additional point that I would make is payrolls growth in the U.S., you know, has slowed from 2.5% in the middle of last year down to 1.3%. The services sector is much bigger than the manufacturing sector, as, as you yes. just said, and most of that slowing has actually come from the services sector, not to the manufacturing sector because it is much bigger we are running at 1.3 percent and i would argue that the the, the, the the stall speed or tipping point is around one percent if you look at private payrolls growth historically going all the way back to the 1960s That's whenever we we've gone watch. through one percent we've ended up in a full recession what does this mean for stock markets because you're also arguing that there's a gap here a gap between the fundamentals that you're talking about here mm -hmm. and where stock markets are. If you're right on the fundamentals here, what kind of pullback are you talking about for the stock markets potentially here? So, so you know, the, the things that I would point out are, number one, the U.S. stock market is about 15% expensive to where growth is currently. 15%. That's right. I would put uh, where we should be on the basis of, uh, you know, the, the, the ISMs and the like at 2,600, not at 3,000. Now, I do have a target for 3250 and most people are confused by that. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> uh, what I would argue is that because the US because US economy is slowing and it's slowing pretty severely, I would argue uh, uh, you know we will get a relent on trade policy and so my constructive view or V turn in the stock market is uh, predicated deal. on getting a credible trade deal uh, 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 that would be very positive and 3250 then will look too conservative. <laughs> very quickly, how long are you going to leave it before you change that call if we don't uh, get a deal? I mean, it's a call. We're very close to the end of the month, so I will accept, uh, you know, uh, Throw it, the the towel the, in. The whatever on my face. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you. We have to wrap it there. Finger channel. Yeah. The Chief of Global Strategist at Deutsche Bank. Thank you so much. We'll get you back it's to pleasure. discuss.